This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of both the CS Express course and Course D. In CS Express, it's Lesson 14. In Course D, it's Lesson 11. Wall Loops with Farmers Puzzle 9. Fill in the holes at the end of each of these paths. You'll need to use Wall Path Ahead block in order to solve this puzzle, okay? So, Wall Path Ahead. All right, first of all, we're going in a big square, but we only have one move ahead. And notice they want us to use six blocks or less. We have one block on the board. And one move ahead. Okay, but we want to go in a big square. Hmm. All right. Well, I know I'm going to want to repeat walking to win then. How do I feel? All right. I would want to move forward till I get here. And then I would want to fill that. Each only is going to need one. Well, if each only needs one, that's not that many bricks. What if I did wall path ahead? Okay, while there's a path, if there's a path, we want to walk. So wall path ahead, move forward. I'm just going to test out wall path ahead. Yes, I'll hit this hole, but okay, so we're looking each time. Cool. Now, if there's not a path, what do I want to do? So if this is false, because remember, this is going to run as long as there's a path ahead. The second there's no path ahead, the code is done. So if there's no path ahead, would there be a hole there? Let's see if this does something. Oh, so I filled that here. Okay. Did I fill it because we're at the edge or because it was a hole? I think it fills because it's uh, at the edge. Okay. So maybe then turn left. All right. And then I would want to, once I turn left, I need to use move forward. Again. Wait a minute. We can't. Well, I'd want to move forward, so move forward once, twice, three times, four times. And each time we have a hole to fill, just once, yep. And each time, is it a left turn? Yeah, it's a square. Aha! Let's put all this in here. And now, inside of our repeat loop, we'll repeat all of this code four times. One side of the square, two sides of the square, three sides of the square, four sides of the square. And that makes sense. We'll keep moving forward while there's a path ahead. And that's to the end of each of these, there's a path. And then you fill the hole. I'm not sure if you fill it because you're standing on a hole or because you're at the edge of a path. Does a hole count as path? I guess it might. Regardless, then you turn left once, twice, three times, and then at the very end, but that's fine. Because then we're done. Let's try it. And this is using our nested loops, right? We have a repeat loop all the way around our wall loop. Our wall loop only runs if there's a path ahead right now. Kind of like repeat only runs if it's ran less than four times. This only runs the code inside of it if there's a path ahead. Whereas repeat only runs the code inside of it if it's only run it less than four. Ta-da! Awesome, let's keep going. 